Mike Wagenheim alongside Jess Coates after the Colonels open up the season with an 8-1 victory over Southern University. Your initial thoughts on, on a big win today? Uh, it was really good to get eight goals in the table, I mean, and what's really good about this season that we haven't had in previous seasons is like we had like numerous girls score. We had four freshmen, I think. We had seniors, we had sophomores, we had everyone like on the board, which is an amazing effort, and uh, it represents how much effort and training we've put in over these last few weeks. How much did these last few weeks prepare you? Oh, a huge amount. I mean, getting out there on the pitch, working on like both offense and defense. Like you could see in the game, like we knew where each other was going to be. We knew what we wanted, and uh, getting the freshmen out. I mean, you saw the impact. It was amazing. It didn't take long for you guys to get that first goal today. How much did that help you really get going? Oh, that was huge. I mean, the first goal in the season's massive, and uh, to get one, I think it was like the first four minutes that just set the tone for the season, for the game, for the year. A lot of depth, obviously, and that's something that uh, Coach Harrison has been talking about since the moment you guys set foot on the field for fall practice. Uh, really, this team is stacked this year. Oh, it's like every week it's like who's going to be in the starting 11, who's going to be in the next starting 11. Like you never know who's going to start. It's just it's brilliant to have that much quality in one squad, and, uh, and everyone's really excited and happy about the upcoming season. What did you learn about your club today? Uh, just how much like of a team it is. Like after every goal, everyone got up, everyone celebrated, everyone was just working as a squad, and uh, it was good to realize how much like we have a lot of potential, and uh, it's, everything just seems to be coming together. And uh, it's just a great bunch of girls, and yeah. A quick turnaround here. You host South Alabama coming up on Sunday. Anything to prepare for? Uh, that'll be a tough game, and uh, it will be a very tough game. But if we can keep the intensity in some uh, aspects that we showed today and put in the game, then it should should be a tight, uh, possibly hoping for a win. Yeah. All right. Jess Coates with a hat trick today. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It really didn't take long for y'all to get going today. No, that's something we talked about. Um, we know that we, we could do it, uh, getting on the scoreboard early, coming out of uh, the LSU game, scoring that early in the second half. It's something that was definitely a focus, how we control the tempo by the first five minutes of the game, and that's what we look to capitalize on. Not only total domination of the Jaguars today, but it came from so many different players. Yeah, I think that's uh, we had kind of hit on it that we have the ability to use a number of different players, and as you can see, we're not making subs just because we're making subs to have an impact on the game, and those players take take that responsibility seriously, and you can see some of the outcomes of it. What were some of the keys to the victory today? I think just kind of implementing some of the things we've been working on in terms of playing simple out of the back, but once it gets into that midfield, we have enough players that can create and make plays. Uh, as soon as they get it, we're looking for them to connect some passes with each other, try to break teams down, and look for that final uh, dangerous ball, and then just get numbers in the box. Uh, we even had a number of crosses early in the game that we, we had some numbers in there, but they're just a little static with their runs and their movement in the box, and so maybe miss some opportunities early, but we finally, finally got it going definitely in the second half. South Alabama coming up on Sunday. There'll be a bit more of a staunch test for you. What do you know about the other Jaguars? Not much yet. They they haven't really opened up uh, with with their first game. They play tonight. A pretty tough test against, I believe, Mississippi State. Um, go home, just kind of take a look. Uh, definitely be looking at the live stats tonight and just kind of getting a better feel for them. But the reality of it is, even right now, we're very, very focused on what we're doing uh, until we really know how we want to play and what, what we're capable of. We're not going to worry about too many other teams because it doesn't matter if we're not able to execute the things that we want to do. It's not, not really going to matter, will it? Well, everything uh, was executed to perfection today as the Colonels defeat Southern by a final score of 8-1. to one. He's Dylan Harrison. I'm Mike Wagenheim. We'll talk to you again here Sunday from the Nichols Soccer Complex kickoff against South Alabama at 1 o'clock. Hope to see you then.